Hello there, fellow Star Wars fans. My name is Rob. I'm going to do a little bit of unboxing today here because I had some uh, older Star Wars stuff that was in storage and the, the rain got into my storage and kind of ruined all the packaging. So I figured, hey, what a great excuse to open them up and have some fun and play with them. Huh? Anyhow, I thought I'd, we'd start with this one right here. This, is, of course, is R5-D4, who has been given a new lease on life in The Mandalorian. People know who he is again. Some say R5-D4 is a Jedi droid. I don't really buy that story, but, uh, you know, if you believe it, who am I to say it's wrong? Concealed Missile Launcher. Ooh, that's exciting. Here's the stuff on the back. Uh, there's the other stuff you need to buy. We've got some Jawas. It's the Power of the Force collection, by the way. There's Luke buying him in Star Wars, just, just before his motivator blew. Remember this guy? I remember when I was a kid, they called him Hammerhead. But now he's called... Mamara... What the hell? Moma Nadon. Hammerhead. This is when the, uh, the action figures were kind of muscular. The power of the force. They're all, everyone looked like they were swimming all the time or something. I don't know. Which is weird because, you know, look at Luke. He's really muscular here. And uh, he wouldn't be swimming. There's no water on Tatooine. He was six ninety nine dollars upon purchase. Well, here's the missile. And there we are. Uncle Lauren. This R2 unit has a bad motivator. Look! Oh my god, look, he opens up. And then you take the... Alright, and uh, we've spotted a uh, bad guy. Fire one. So there we have it, the power of the force, R5-D4, in all his glory. $6.99 in whatever year I got this in. I don't know, 2000 maybe? Uh, this is a little something I made for Halloween a few years ago. It's uh, obviously the Luke Skywalker tunic. Uh, I got some other accoutrements that I usually wear with it. I'm not wearing them right now. I've gained a little bit of weight since I made this, so let's be comfortable, shall we? Next thing we have, uh, I have three Return of the Jedi cards. We have on the Death Star, the approach of Wicket, and then Ewoks to the rescue. There they are. It's and then, here, let's read what it says. On the Death Star. On the still unfinished Death Star, Lord Darth Vader, Imperial officers, and a masked guard of honor await the Emperor's arrival. Next, we have... Oh, it's a Star Wars quiz. The approach of Wicked is a Star Wars quiz. What color are Chewbacca's eyes? Answers on the next card. I don't have the next card. I feel like they're brown, aren't they? Kind of like light brown? Uh, the answer to card number 141 was wall decoration. Don't know what the question is. I'm going to assume the question was, what was... Job of the Hut using Han Solo for Frozen and Carbonite. He was a wall decoration. Hello. And then Ewoks to the rescue. While hunting the Endor Forest for the rebels, Imperial Stormtroopers are surprised when a number of Ewok warriors begin dropping stones on them and very surprised that they were able to be defeated by a bunch of teddy bears. Uh, this, of course, is my Star Wars shelf. Princess Leia. I think she's got a message for me. Hey, yo. This is the Darth Vader Black Series helmet. The new one that came out for Obi-Wan Kenobi. It's pretty cool. I love it. It's one of my favorite things that I own. Ah, uh, TIE Fighter up there, C-3PO. Got my lightsabers. This is, of course, Grief Gaga. Apollo Creed himself. That's a little ad at diorama I made a few years ago. Pretty proud of that. Empire Strikes Back diorama. You can see Luke and uh, Darth Vader fighting it out there. And uh, that's my frog. Next up, we got uh, Shadows of the Empire. Princess Leia Boosh with blaster rifle and bounty hunter helmet. Cool. This is, of course, when she dressed up to go save Han Solo from the clutches of the vile gangster Jabba the Hutt when he was being used as a wall decoration, oddly enough, in Jabba's palace. Boosh uh, comes in there with a thermal detonator, and she don't care. She don't care. She's like, because I'm holding a thermal detonator. That's why you're going to give me more money. Brah. Jabra. There she is. Shadows of the Empire. Again with the muscular physiques. It's similar to the power of the Force. Here's a blurb on the back. Let me see if I can rip through it. Leia, in boost disguise. Height, 1.5 meters. Status, Princess of Alderaan. Imperial Senator, cell leader of the Rebel Alliance. Classification, human. Affiliation, Rebel Alliance. Weapon of choice is the blaster pistol. And a serious kick-ass attitude. After Han Solo was captured by Boba Fett, several attempts were made on Luke Skywalker's life, which threatened the future of the Rebellion. Princess Leia Organa and Chewbacca sought to protect the young Jedi and traveled to Coruscant to follow up on leads surrounding these attempts. They hoped to draw from the extensive intelligence-gathering network of Black Sun, a criminal organization whose operations extended to the farthest reaches of the galaxy. Because Coruscant is the homeworld of the Empire, a dangerous place for any member of the Rebel Alliance, Leia disguised herself as the renowned Yabusian... Yabusian... Where do they come up with these names? The renowned Yabusian. 
Yes. Uh, bounty hunter Boosh. Boosh's helmet concealed her entire face while a built-in Vox scrambler altered her voice to resemble that of a Yubusian. A false ID and code taken from the Black Sun completed her disguise and provided a safe level of anonymity. Anonymity. I read at a grade two level. Little did she know that Princess Sizer, underlord of the Black Sun, was behind murder attempts on Skywalker and had his sights set on Leia as well. Leia would later use the Boosh disguise during an attempt to rescue Han Solo, still frozen in carbonite, from Jabba the Hutt's palace. Though the rescue failed, she became Jabba's prisoner. Leia would play a crucial role in the battle over the Great Pit of Kakun. There, she destroyed Jabba and helped Luke Skywalker, Lando Calrissian, and Chewbacca liberate Han Solo from Jabba's clutches. That's what all that says. Kind of some uh, some lore that I never knew about, actually. Interesting. Also, six ninety nine. Looks like a lot of things were six ninety nine back in the day. It comes a little. Uh, I think this is a sticker that you can use. It's kind of reflective. I might put it on my my iPad or something. She's open. She's open. No longer carded. There she is. Comes with a little cape here. All right. Princess Leia, but a yato. She's got the thermal detonator in her hand, but it doesn't come out, and so she just got to live the rest of her life holding a thermal detonator. Ah, yato, yato. Translated: I have come for the bounty on this Wookie. There you go, cool, uh, cool looking figure. I like it a lot. That's good. I'm gonna give that a good little place amongst my dioramas. Oh look, this is fun. Boba Fett Pez. I don't know where I got this. There's your dispenser. Oh, this is cool. I gotta get more candies because obviously I'm not gonna eat these because I'll pass on the uh, botulism because who knows what the hell year these are from. Let's see if there's a best before on them. Strawberry. It does not have a best before on it. Either it never goes bad or can't find the Pez you want at your favorite store. Order here. Woo. There's lots of them. Look at all the Pezes. Put Captain Solo in the cargo hold and have a candy. I don't have any candy because they're all bad. Sorry. What if he doesn't survive? He's worth a lot to me. Well, I guess you shouldn't have eaten all that Pez then, should you? Well, with that Pez. This is, I think, from Burger King. It's like comes in the prize of the week or something. It looks like it's Cloud City. Oh, cool. It comes with a stand. Look. Woo! Look, Cloud City. And it comes with a little stand. Oh, it's from Taco Bell. That's Taco Bell was giving these out. Uh, along with their fantastic chalupas, which I love. Place the bottom tip of Cloud City in the small hole on the floor of the display base. Bring the top of Cloud City under the top of the base and let glow. Cloud City will float before your eyes. Oh my god. Whoa, check it out! Must have a magnet. I make these t-shirts, by the way. That's a TIE Fighter on that one. I got ones with Stormtroopers. I got it with Darth Vader. So, hey, if you ever need a t-shirt, talk to me, and uh, I'll give you a deal. Our next contestant for unboxing is this beautiful, handsome Sand Trooper. These aren't the droids I'm looking for. This is always one of my favorite characters. I love Stormtroopers. I think they're cool. And uh, I always thought the Sand Troopers were cool because they got that well-used universe look. This one says Fan's Choice. I don't really know what that means. But it's for ages four and up. That's important. A little coin here. The coin says Episode 4. Here's the other dudes you can get. Uh, R2. Boosh. That's a cool-looking Boba. He's got the rockets. Ooh, look at this guy. That's a Dark Trooper back in the old days. The old days Dark Trooper. You gotta make the sound effects or what the hell's the point, right? All right, so this is discarded. Get it? Ooh, you got a little book here. Always read the card first, my mother told me, before playing with the toys. Sand Trooper. Jedi mind tricks often work on the weak-minded, such as is the case when a squad of Sand Troopers asks Jedi Master Obi-Wan Kenobi about the two droids that are with him in a land speeder. Obi-Wan tricks them into concluding these aren't the droids we're looking for. <laughs> Character profile, species, humans from various worlds. Status, specialized Imperial Trooper. Weapon of choice is the blaster pistol, the blaster rifle, training for desert regions. And this is other stuff you can buy. Look, this almost looks like the... Uh, the Micro Galaxy Squadrons logo, which is so hot right now. Opening uh, action figures is always like opening a package of light bulbs. This guy's cool. He's all sandy. Star Wars, episode four. And then you flip it around. There it is on the back. I'll have that appraised. And then here is our guy. I always like to give him that classic Star Wars. How long have you had these droids? I'm sorry, droids? I don't own any droids, sir. He doesn't own any droids. I still have a cool one that I'm going to open. I'm not going to do it right now. Power of the Force Leia, but what I like about it, it comes with this little still, a slide from the Return of the Jedi. 
My lightsaber died. So that's my cue. Um, thanks for watching, friends. I'm going to unbox some more stuff later. It, it, it's, you know, hours of fun. And uh, may the Force be with you.